Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to morning prayer on Friday, the 15th of May. Uh, where do these weeks go? They just fly past. Friday, the 15th of May. Really good if you can join us for prayer this morning. We, uh, You can follow along on the daily prayer app or by following the link in the description. Let's take a moment just to still our hearts as we begin our time of prayer together. Loving God, you are a faithful God. Great is your faithfulness. Your mercies are new every morning. We thank you that we can meet together in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your word and we thank you that you will promise to hear us when we pray. Help us to do that now. In Jesus' name. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord, God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people Egypt from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Two psalms this morning, Psalm number 138 and 149. So Psalm 138. I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. Before the gods I will sing your praise. I will bow down towards your holy temple and, and will praise your name for your unfailing love and your faithfulness. For you have so exalted your solemn decree that it surpasses your fame. When I called, you answered me. You greatly emboldened me. May all the kings of the earth praise you, Lord, when they hear what you have decreed. May they sing of the ways of the Lord, for the glory of the Lord is great. Though the Lord is exalted, he looks kindly on the lowly, Though lofty, he sees them from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. You stretch out your hand against the anger of my foes. With your right hand you save me. The Lord will vindicate me. Your love, Lord, endures forever. Do not abandon the works of your hands. Psalm 149 Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. His praise in the assembly of his faithful people. Let Israel rejoice in their maker. Let the people of Zion be glad in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing. And make music to him with tambourine and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the humble with victory. Let his faithful people rejoice in this honour and sing for joy on their beds. May the praise of God be in their mouths and a double-edged sword in their hands, 
to inflict vengeance on the nations and punishment on the peoples, to bind their kings with fetters, their nobles with shackles of iron, to carry out the sentence written against them. This is the glory of all his faithful people. Praise the Lord. The Old Testament reading is from the book of Numbers. Numbers 1 to 20, Numbers 14, sorry. Numbers 14, 1 to 25. <clears throat> Numbers 14, 1 to 25. The people rebel. That night all the members of the community raised their voices and wept aloud. All the Israelites grumbled against Moses and Aaron, and the whole assembly said to them, If only we had died in Egypt, or in this wilderness. Why is the Lord bringing us to this land only to let us fall by the sword? Our wives and children will be taken as plunder. Wouldn't it be better for us to go back to Egypt? And they said to each other, We should choose a leader and go back to Egypt. <clears throat> then Moses and Aaron fell face down in front of the whole Israelite assembly gathered there. Joshua, son of Nun, and Caleb, son of Jephune, who were among those who had explored the land, tore their clothes, and said to the entire Israelite assembly, The land we passed through and explored is exceedingly good. If the Lord is pleased with us, he will lead us into that land, a land flowing with milk and honey, and will give it to us. Only do not rebel against the Lord, and do not be afraid of the people of the land, because we will devour them. Their protection is gone, but the Lord is with us. Do not be afraid of them. But the whole assembly talked about stoning them. Then the glory of the Lord appeared at the tent of meeting to all the Israelites. The Lord said to Moses, How long will these people treat me with contempt? How long will they refuse to believe in me in spite of all the signs I have performed among them? I will strike them down with a plague and destroy them, but I will make you into a nation greater and stronger than they. Moses said to the Lord, Then the Egyptians will hear about it. By your power you brought these people up from among them, and they will tell the inhabitants of this land about it. They have already heard that you, Lord, are with these people, and that you, Lord, have been fa seen face to face, that your cloud stays over them, and that you go before them in a pillar of cloud by day, and a pillar of fire by night. If you put all these people to death, leaving none alive, the nations who have heard this report about you will say, The Lord was not able to bring these people into the land he promised them on oath, so he slaughtered them in the wilderness. Now may the Lord's strength be displayed, just as you have declared. The Lord is slow to anger, abounding in love, and forgiving sin and rebellion. Yet he does not leave the guilty unpunished. He punishes the children for the sin of the parents to the third and fourth generation. In accordance with your great love, forgive the sin of these people, just as you have pardoned them from the time they left Egypt until now. The Lord replied, I have forgiven them, as you asked. Nevertheless, as surely as I live and as surely as the glory of the Lord fills the whole earth, not one of those who saw my glory and the signs I performed in Egypt and in the wilderness, but who disobeyed me and tested me ten times, not one of them will ever see the land I promised on oath to their ancestors. No one who has treated me with contempt will ever see it. But because my servant Caleb has a different spirit and follows me wholeheartedly, I will bring him into the land he went to, and his descendants will inherit it. Since the Amalekites and Canaanites are living in the valleys, turn back tomorrow and set out towards the desert along the route to the Red Sea.
The New Testament reading is from the Gospel of Luke. Luke chapter 6, verses 1 to 11. Luke chapter 6, 1 to 11. Jesus is Lord of the Sabbath. One Sabbath, Jesus was going through the cornfields, and his disciples began to pick some ears of corn, rub them in their hands, and eat the grain. Some of the Pharisees asked, Why are you doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? Jesus answered them, Have you never read... What David did when he and his companions were hungry, he entered the house of God, and taking the consecrated bread, he ate what is lawful only for priests to eat, and he also gave some to his companions. Then Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. On another Sabbath, he went into the synagogue and was teaching, and a man was there whose right hand was shriveled. The Pharisees and the teachers of the law were looking for a reason to accuse Jesus, so they watched him closely to see if he would heal on the Sabbath. But Jesus knew what they were thinking and said to the man with the shriveled hand, Get up and stand in front of everyone. So he got up and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, which is lawful on the Sabbath, to do good or to do evil, to save life or to destroy it? He looked round at them all and then said to the man, stretch out your hand. He did so and his hand was completely restored. But the Pharisees and the teachers of the law were furious and began to discuss with one another what they might do to Jesus. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? The Song of Zechariah the Benedictus The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the sunshine. We thank you for the beauty of your creation. We pray for all those 
who are going to work today, for key workers, for people who are returning back to work after being at home for a while, and for those who are still working from home. Lord, give us all energy and strength. Help us to do what is right. Help us to know your will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray that you would continue to uh, stop the spread of this virus, that we would continue to see the infection rate go down and those who have tragically died, the numbers go down. We pray for the way forward as steps are taken out of this lockdown and as we all have decisions to make of when and how to return to different things. We pray for our church, for the leadership, for our archbishops and bishops and for all those in authority as they guide us in steps to take. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we continue to pray for all those who are sick in any way whether from this virus or for any, with any other ailment, and we ask for your healing. We pray for those known to us in a moment of quiet. We lift up to you all those on our prayer list and email prayer chain and anyone else in need of your healing at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for any that are mourning the loss of their loved ones. And we pray especially for the family uh, of the person whose funeral I'm taking today. Be with them and comfort them. May the light of Christ shine through that service. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for nations of the world where um, this crisis is in the early stages and where infections are increasing in uh, Eastern Europe, in Russia, in parts of South America, in some of the nations of Africa. And we, we ask for your mercy, Lord, for, for you to stop the spread of this horrible virus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So may we all know that you're with us as we go through our day. May we be aware of your presence with us. May we walk in faith and hope and love. And may we know the peace of Christ in our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. The collect for today. Let us pray. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, have overcome death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life, grant that as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires, so by your continual help we may bring them to good effect. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. 
May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Well, thank you everyone for joining us this morning for prayer, whether watching live or on a recording. Do pray God's blessing upon you this day. Have a good day. See you this evening at uh, around half five for evening prayer. Take care. God bless.